for five paintings and their lightings. So it's not so bad. So here is the first one, um, which is called On the Edges of State, um, which is where the star turns into nebula and the neutron star at its center is created. And then we've got the second painting, Birth of a Pulsar, which has the lighting of a heartbeat for life. So the pulsar is created in this painting. And it starts rotating. And the third painting is Life of a Pulsar. And in this painting, the pulsar is pulsing, but we haven't discovered it yet. So it's very faint and you have to really focus to see the light uh, at the back of the painting, which is to say that with our level of perception as humans, we can't perceive that, but we needed instruments to be able to see the bells are singing. And in the fourth painting, it's discovery. So here we have discovered the pulsar, um, which is here and we are here. And the, the pulse in this painting corresponds to the first, the first pulsar that was discovered by Jocelyn Bell almost 50 years ago. So this is discovery. And the last painting that we have completed today is this one. It's another kind of star. And here you see that once we had the instruments and once we recognized what a pulsar was, then we started discovering many of them. That's why the pulsing at the back of the painting increases because we discovered, after we discovered the first pulsar, LGM1, we discovered 24 pulsar in the year after that. So this is it for day three. And Tomorrow we have, we're taking a break. <laughs> and the day after, we have to finish all of that. So this is it for day three setup. See you guys.